Hi everybody. Um, welcome to this week's grab and go. This week's grab and go is um, for World Wildlife Day, which is actually this Wednesday, March 3rd. Um, for World Wildlife Day, we are giving uh, uh, some animals that are different types of animals that you'd find. Um, and also you have some paint in order to paint your animal. Um, you can add your own colors if you want. We gave the colors kind of that are more specific to the animal that you get. Um, so come pick one of those up. Um, we also have tomorrow um, Dr. Seuss um, bag, which will be going out. And also check online our Facebook page for our Read Across um, America or Read Across Whiting um, book that we did with a um, few community leaders around the area. Write a page of our book um, so you can listen to that and see um, some local faces on that. Um, as for World Wildlife Day, if you've never heard of it, it is a United Nations um, sponsored holiday that was uh, established in 2013 to celebrate um, the world's wild animals and plants and to raise awareness of the perils that they face. Um, since that time, World Wildlife Day has grown to be um, one of the most important um, global events dedicated to wildlife. Um, each year, um, they do pick a theme and it um, the world... Um, you know, are issues about uh, biodiversity and conservation um, and how animals and plants are important for us for our clean air and water, food, energy, and different materials. Um, so please, um, you know, uh, make sure that you kind of look into that. Maybe uh, do a, come to the library and get a, some more books on it. Um, today I am going to um, read a book um, that is a good place to start. Um, it helps you see different species um, that you may not otherwise um, know about, um, but it's important to learn about um, these different species around the world because they're important to us in many ways. Um, today's book is Tree of Wonder, The Many Marvelous Lives of a Rainforest Tree by Kate Messner, and it, it is illustrated by Simona Mulzani. You can see on that there's a tree and it's got all kinds of what in it? There's some birds you see. Anybody know what this long bird with the long beak is called? Yeah, toucan. And what is this guy up here? It's some type of monkey, right? He looks like he's relaxing. And then there's a bright blue, what is this? Butterfly. Yeah, and looks like some um, some parrots in that tree. So let's go ahead and get started. Tree of Wonder. Deep in the forest in the warm, wet green, one almiandro tree grows, stretching its branches toward sun. Among these gnarled roots and rutted bark, crisscrossed limbs and rain-drenched leaves, a whole hidden world bustles and thrives. You can see the tree is busy with lots of animals in it. Trees are very important because lots of animals use them for um, habitat or their homes. And then they use them for food and they, you know, their shelter, right? So look up, way up, great green macaws nest in the hollow left by a fallen brand branch. Soon there will be more. So you can see right there, there's our macaws. I've called them parrots, but they're macaws. I don't know my birds very well, I guess. Who's hungry? Keel build toucans, balk and squawk and squabble over breakfast. You can see, what's the breakfast? Can you tell what the breakfast is? It kind of looks like it's these um, ants over here, but it's he actually has, it looks like a seed or something that he's trying to maybe open. That's why he's got that big beak, right? What's that growly, roaring sound? Howler monkeys swing and balance, chasing each other from branch to branch. Tag, you're it. That fruit is mine. Oh, so maybe that was a fruit that those toucans had even. Maybe the El Miandro tree has fruit in it. Or maybe it was a seed. You have to look about, I don't know about the El Miandro tree. I have to look it up. So deep in a moist, dark hollow, step inside and shine a light. Fruit bats sleep the day away, upside down. And when night comes, it will be their turn to feast on fruit. 
So uh, there's a fruit on the tree. It's a fruit tree. There's our bats that come out at night. Watch where you fly, fruit bats. Fair, Delance, vipers, a mother and her newborn babies lurk, curled and coiled, waiting for prey. What is a fair Delance viper? Anybody guess? Yeah, if you guessed a snake, you're right. So there's the snakes. You can see them. Someone else is searching for the gooty sniff and snuffle in the forest floor. They gorge on fallen fruit, then gather, dig, gather more. A gooties stockpile food, hiding it away for later. Kind of like a squirrel does here, right? Um, this book also I'm not reading, but the it gives you an explanation of each animal. So if you wanted to come and check it out, you could actually come and f find out more about each of these animals. It's very interesting. It tells you about their lives. Someone's playing hide-and-seek. Blue morpho butterflies flutter through leaves on electric blue wings and then land brown, bark, and visible on the trunk. So you can see those, they all are landing on those, the tr bark of the tree. Those are very pretty butterflies. With sticky toes and careful steps, Poison dark frogs climb, carrying babies on their backs. Oh, wow, that's interesting. So the dark frog, the poison dark frog, actually carries their babies on their back. Can you see them? I never knew that. Looks like they look like little tadpoles, and what they probably do is they go to the water, and they have them in there. But not every crevice is safe. Rusty wandering spiders venture out from their mother's care. They'll build layers of their own and wait for dinner. There they are. What would their dinner be? Looks like their dinner will be this guy over here. Maybe he's a grasshopper. Beneath on the forest floor, leaf cutter ants hurry scurry over twisted roots hauling cargo over their backs. Have you ever seen these guys, the ones, the leaf cutter ants, that they carry them over their backs and, backs and they go up and down the trees, limbs? They're very cool. Life multiplies again and again in this one almiandro tree. You can see how much life is in that one tree. So many uses of it, right? So that is the end shows you how busy and how important the tree is to all those animals. And that's why we need to um, save many of our rainforests and trees. Um, so I'll read you a little. Um, the Almiandro tree is um, in Latin America is um, known as the tree of life. And for good, good reason, a single Almiandro tree can be home to more than a thousand different kinds of organisms. But this tree strength has also been its downfall. Fall. Because the Almiandro tree has very hard termite resistant wood many trees have been cut for lumber and others have um, felled to make room for plantations so it's important that we need to um, recognize um, that there's important things that we need to do in our own lives um, and maybe in the future of things that we can do to help um, save our plants and animals. Um, so I hope you guys all enjoy this week's Grab and Go. Um, please share and post um, anything that you, um, if you do do the project, um, we appreciate it. And remember, tomorrow we will have that Dr. Seuss bag going out and look forward for a Read Across America, a Read Across Whiting um, video with our local um, community leaders. I hope everybody has a great day and thanks. Bye.